on the national cyber security policy and I thought that I will share with you the action plan in all the areas uh, how the security government proposes to implement and what kind of a cooperation and collaboration is requested from all of you. But in between I got a, uh, in the mail that the subject is changed to the privacy and cyber security, uh, privacy and, and the security issues there. I was wondering why the subject is changed because or something because of me or uh, <laughs> uh, was the reason that they have changed it. But anyway, so I decided that I will not like to make any presentation because a session on the privacy. So it's better to say because if anybody want to listen and communicate, that is his thing rather than putting a PPT. But being a government officer, I uh, can't do away uh, normal training which we have been given to us to make some presentation. So I have two slides which are very interesting to for this session. Now, if you see the slide here, this is the international slide not taken by me. This is the Saudi Arabia, the people who share everything. 60% of the people in Saudi Arabia who are the social media sites, they share, they are so transparent, open, and they share everything on the media. And then comes the India. It's almost the percentage is 55 percent of the people who are on the media, they share everything what they see on the, on the media. Now, if you look at this slide, look at where is USA, is only 15 percent of the people share it. And the average is 24 percent, world average is 24 percent. So this, this slide, certainly of my co-panelists, Sunil Abraham, will certainly note it and see how the freedom of expression is seen in India or what the other people see elsewhere. This is like tell the cultural aspect of the Indians also. Now, the second slide, if you see here, the Indian penetration on the social media site is only 5% as compared to the, see the world average is somewhere around 20, 27%, 22% and we are only in 5%. 5% of the population in India is only on the social media side. Now this percentage is growing. And certainly in time to come, this will go and surpass because of the larger Indian population and large number of the uh, people from the youth and is moving towards the uh, all kind of people who are looking on the media sites there. This percentage will go up. Now this slide and the first slide if you combine together, let us see what privacy has a meaning for us in the country. How do we deal with the privacy? How do you deal with other things there? We have a very interesting session. We have our co-panelists are also the icons of their own field. I say I must thank the ORF to have chosen the panel in such a manner that you have a proper good representation. My one of the panelists, co-panelists is Mr. M. M. O'Brien, who himself by education is an engineer who has worked in the police organization dealing with very, very, I mean, intensive case, cases which involve intensive crimes, including IT, cyber, and all kinds of things there. He is the Joint Commissioner of Police in Delhi today, looking after the licensing and special cell. He has also been a Herbert H. Humphrey fellow on the full price policy program, specializing in cyber security, challenge, policy response, and enforcement issues. I know him personally. Whatever is given to me, these four lines, he deserves much more because many of you don't know him personally. I know him personally. How 
liberal mind it is personally and how it's professional in his approach in doing conducting the research. Now I have another panelist, Mr. Rajan Matthews, icon in the his own industry, very enlightened person, always smiling person. <laughs> he is the director general of the Cerebral Operator Association of India. He also served in, in, as a, in a many senior executive positions, such as CEO, CEO and CFO of major companies uh, uh, in the Telegraph, Khan Wireless, and AT&T, Birla at and Birla at and and now IDEA. I don't have to say much, but other than saying that he is a he is a thorough professional gentleman and his knowledge about the subject is very vast and he is very positive. Positive in the sense that he calls a spade a spade and he can whatever wants you say agrees or disagree, but the answer is fixed. Then we have another champion, Sunil Abraham. Everybody knows about him. He is like a Hanuman. I, I don't know how much potential <laughs> he knows about himself, but I call him Hanuman because uh, he has certain qualities which I am looking for him to, for in him to exploit so that the society at large may get benefit out of him. He is the executive director of the Central for Internet Society, CIS Bangalore, and CIS focuses on intellectual property rights policy, the reform free of open source software. Now I know how we used to get software freedom legal. I think back end mind must be Sunil Abraham only. <laughs> uh, the internet governance, uh, digital natives and digital communities. I keep on seeing his uh, uh, presentation on the website. and I keep on reading it. Very uh, enlightened uh, young man. It's really a very good composition of the panel. You can see we have from the government, we have from the industry, and we have from the, uh, uh, the so-called civil society. Because one of his colleagues of uh, Sunil Abraham sometimes told me, I am the civil society. I said, right now, I am also civil society. Because when I function as a government officer, yes, I am a government officer. Otherwise, I am also civil society. That's why I said so-called civil society is today, with your permission. So the issues are very clear I have put there. Now, how do we look at it in privacy and security? If we have a privacy, if we have a security, somebody will keep on monitoring it. So how do we deal with this issue there? I think this panel is, uh, this issue is very important to come where the social media sites are, social media is going on. It will go on. There is no way one can stop it because it brings a lot of advantages to us. Let us see from the advantage point of view. And really, I will, I will say that from all, how to make it more constructive so the negative aspect may go up. The aspect is a tremendous uh, aspect and the negative way is time overshadows it. So I open the panel and uh, I request Mr. Obrai to uh, say, uh, to say on the subject or whatever views on that, I think then we will go on other panelists. Thank you. I'll be more comfortable. Thank you for your generous introduction.